So we'll get into back bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lean in. Receiving it up. And then essentially you're going to come up into a V shape. Right. Okay. Uh, with your body. So go ahead and come up. There it is. And try to catch your feet. Yeah. So what happens here is uh, more than likely it'll be like a fall sideways. Damn! It's gonna be this. It's gonna be this, uh -huh. okay? Falling back, you'll have your hands. That's easy. Falling forward, piece of cake, you're on your feet. Falling back over, that could be dangerous, right? Of course, so keep that 90, you keep your hands up. And you know, with any type of backfly stuff, if there's a fall, you bend that feet right away, keep your arms up, you're bringing their feet down lower. Anytime their feet are lower than their torso and their arms, you're keeping the head safe, okay? Bend it right away. You gotta learn how to react. As a base, you're not relying on a, some imaginary spotter who could or could not be there. You're relying on yourself. You are the first line of defense. You spot yourself. So you're spotting her fall as she falls. You're gonna bend the feet, keep the arms up, okay? Now let's talk about this midline fall, okay? Um, Sam, let's have you fly, and then we'll have you uh, base cam here something. Okay, she's coming down. Watch my toes here, very, very important. I've got to give her a lot of toe, press my toes up to support her torso there, right? And then once she's up, now you start teeter-tottering back and forth like this, forward and back, just like you're pedaling a gas can, right? Mm -hmm. If you feel her weight coming too far forward, you'll bring the heels up. If you feel like her weight's too far this way, you'll push your, her toes, your toes up. So finding that balance back and forth there, right? At the same time, keeping your adductors tight so that you're keeping that line in the middle. And the arms up the whole time in case she falls backwards, okay? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times with feet placement is really key for this. If your feet, it's hard to hold for a long time. Uh -huh. um, let's have you rest a second. Oh, thank you. And then let me put, <laughs> it's hard to hold. Let's have you uh, fly again. Okay. I'm gonna tell you where the feet go, okay? If your feet are too low here, like on the tush, you have no toes to press up, they're gonna fall back, okay? But a lot of times I find that flyers will have their feet way too high. Go ahead and lean back for me. Uh, lean, lean back there, Kirsten. Yeah. Okay, here, if you're up here and you're starting to press your toes up, you fall right off because you, you don't have enough support on the butt there. Mm -hmm. So there needs to be, a, placement's real key, right? So you want to place, for me, I think the best place is uh, find the, the hip bones on the back with your feet and place, place the balls of your feet right on there. I think that's, that's ideal. So not too high up there, not way low. Each flyer is going to be different, of course. That's another theme for class today. You're flying new flyers. Yeah. So if they're, if they're very torso heavy, you want to bring it slightly higher. And the opposite, if they're more leg heavy, you want to bring it a little lower. Um, so First start off with the hip bones, put it on the balls of your feet, on the hip bone there. Should lean back. Okay, now she's gonna V up. She's going to come into a V shape, which is a boat float in yoga. A lot of core. You can tuck your legs in, here's the, tuck your legs in. I feel like I need your feet a little lower. Well, it feels that way. But in reality, you need to lean back more. Okay. So you weren't, that's the thing that's key with flying is you have to really trust and lean back enough to where your back is touching the, your base's toes. Otherwise, it won't work, okay? Okay. Go ahead and lean back. So you need to be able to come up, Kirsten, but still have your back touching my toes there. Okay. And start with your legs tucked in. It'll be a little easier. There. One leg at a time. Okay, that works. You feel, if you, can you feel my toes there? There you go. You want to be able to lean back to where you can touch the toes. There it is. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> it's fun to fly. A lot of cord. Keep it tight. There it is. Lean back a little more. There it is. So when you fall forward, it's simple enough, right? Because you'll land on your feet. So for this pose, when you fly it, you really need to trust and lean back yeah. and know what the worst fall is. If you do fall back, they're going to bend their knees as a base and keep the arms up. Okay, so it's a lot of trust because you can't see your base, but that's required in order for this to work. We did something like this, but it was yeah. upside down. And I, I don't know what it was called, but yeah. do you remember that? It was over yeah. there. Yeah. And I was upside down and then 
but it was the same yeah. thing where I had to lean really far back. Okay, let's talk about, um, let's have you sand fly one more time. Let's talk about the falling back left and right, okay? Leaning back. Okay, um, you watch my toes, Kirsten. Use my toes to press up. Keep her up, but she's leaning back enough to where they're still touching my toes. My hands up here. Okay, nice leaning. Nice, trust Sammy. Watch this, if you start falling left and right, it gets scary, right? Because she could collapse onto you. If you're falling left or right here, let's say you're falling right, bend your knee right away. And um, for the, the, the flyer, you need to learn how to bring your feet down before your hands come down. That's easier said than done. You're flying, let's say you're flying way in this boat flow. Falling back, you have some of the hands, but when they fall sideways, their hands can't reach you. It's really far, right? So you have to fly, you have to feel that. And the moment you feel like they're about to, uh, to, to fall, the moment that you feel like they're about to come left to right, I need you to sit up, drop your legs from the boat. You're here. Drop your legs right away so your weight is coming forward and not back. Makes sense. So when you're falling to the right, you know, drop your legs so your legs are coming down first and tighten your core, sit up. You need to get into an upright position instead of just like being lazy with the fall because you got to take responsibility for that fall. you got to feel it. So um, this one's a lot more dangerous. I wouldn't try this without a spotter on a new face. Um, if you are trying something similar to this, try try a belly face first. Try it low yeah. first. But since we have a spotter today, let's go ahead and start high. Okay. 